Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Happy Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends and to everyone else as well, but especially to my Canadian friends as the day that I'm planning on posting this is Canadian Thanksgiving. So I have spent the day grocery shopping, getting things ready. I have two Thanksgiving dinners I'm going to on this long weekend, uh, but that is not why we are here to talk today. This was not a video I was planning on doing, um, but every once in a while there's a product that I buy because I want to see if it works or I want to use it for myself. And then I just thought it would be good to share what I learned about it with you. So this is going to be about covering up gray hair. And you can see this is actually where I have the biggest stripe of white hair in my hair. I um, started getting gray hair when I was in high school. So thank you genetics in my family. Um, basically my mother takes very strongly after my grandfather and I take very strongly after my mother. And all of them have had white hair, like white, white hair since I can remember. Um, my grandfather I always, we, we sometimes jokingly referred to as the glad garbage bag man with the, like the white hair. And my mother also has perfectly white hair. Now I would love it if my hair was actually pure, pure white like theirs was. I would just grow it out and have white hair because I think that's awesome. But I am somewhere in between and I have been dyeing my hair for quite some time. Because I started going gray when I was like 15 years old, um, my mom was fine with letting me go and get my hair dyed. So I've always sort of been doing some kind of auburn or, you know, light brown. Lately, I'd be getting more into blonde. Um, auburn was kind of what my hair color was when I was younger originally before it started going white. But all of this is to say that I try to go get my hair done maybe every two months or so, but you get to a point at like four to six weeks where it's really on me starting to grow out and be noticeable. And I find that I get embarrassed by it. I find it doesn't look very professional and there's not a lot I can do because even if I pull it back, you can see the gray sort of along my hairline and I try to find places to part my hair where it doesn't show a lot but you do see gray, and especially in that one spot where I have quite the streak of it, it's all there. So on a whim, I was in the grocery store the other day and in the pharmacy beauty section, they had this L'Oreal uh, Root Cover Up Temporary Gray Concealer Spray. And I thought, why not give it a go? This was $12 uh, Canadian, so I'm sure it's less expensive in the States. Uh, and basically it's, wash out. So I figured if this went horribly wrong, I would just hop in the shower and it would go away. Um, but it's specifically made to cover up gray. So after I bought this and used it, I actually went and did a little bit more research on L'Oreal website. This comes in a number of different colors. This one is actually dark blonde. There is a light blonde apparently. They didn't have it at the store where I was or I would have bought it because this is a little bit dark on me. But basically it says lightweight, no smudging, no sticky residue when dry, quick and easy, dries in a flash, one shampoo, it lasts. It's ammonia free, peroxide free, and no synthetic dyes. And all you do is shake it well, hold it uh, 10 to 15 centimeters from your hair, and spray onto new growth, um, and then blend in the color. And I am sharing this with you today because I really like this. Uh, I've had a chance to use it a couple of times. I used it in some previous videos and I've used it also just to go to work and I thought I would do a little demo for you today with this very white spot in my hair to show you how it works. Um, now this is a little bit dark on me but I would rather have it look like I have dark roots growing out into my blonde hair than white hair. That's just a little bit of a sensitivity that I have. So let me show you how this works. So I've really parted my hair here where I have my white streak. Sometimes I think it'd be cool to let the white streak grow out. God, I've got a rogue look going on, but uh, that'll be very difficult to do. And the nozzle here is a little directional spray nozzle, so you do get a fair bit of control over it. I'm gonna try to do this so you can see it. 10 to 15 centimeters from my hair. See? Now, somehow it seems to do this in a magical way where I've never really gotten any on my skin. Now, I'm trying to cover very, very white hair here, but you can see how in one spray that really covered it up. And also, there's no brown coming off on my fingers. Ooh. 
see? Covered up. And it's true that it's not sticky, there isn't like a harsh line. Uh, I've even gone to sleep after having this on for the day and it does not transfer onto my pillow. Now it probably depends on how much you put on. And this is not naturally where I part my hair, so I'm actually going to move over to where I really part it. And also spray some here. Now when I've been doing this by myself, I've sort of been covering up my hairline a little bit but it really doesn't seem to get onto the skin very much. Wow, I'm glowing white right now. Why is my balance so off for white? There we go. There we go. I mean, I was touching it there while it was still a little bit wet and maybe there's, mm, see, I don't really see any transfer onto my fingers there. And then I'm good to go. Also, by the way, this, I was planning on doing a very easy look today and somehow it turned into this. Don't know what happened, but I don't mind it. It does say that this is going to last you 40 uses. Of course, that depends on how much of it you use. I mean, what I would recommend is to style your hair the way you want it and then spray a little bit of this to cover the areas. You know, you're not gonna use it to cover all of your roots, like go through like you would with a dry shampoo and do it in sections and cover it, or at least I wouldn't. I'm more likely to put my hair back in a ponytail and spray it along my roots or my hairline, or part my hair like this and spray it where you see the part and then get on with my day. But I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was gonna be either harsh or get all over my skin or have a problem or transfer a lot and it really does none of that. Now, it is a bit dark for me. It doesn't really match the color of this hair. So if I was to get this again, I would really look for the light blonde. Um, but this is so helpful. I mean, I need to go get my hair done. It's grown out a lot. The problem being that I work all day and I've been busy on my weekends lately and I have to find a time, like it ends up taking like two hours for me to go get my hair done, even if there isn't a haircut, just to get the, the dye in and set and everything. So if this can give me, you know, a couple of extra weeks so that I can stretch out getting to the salon or be able to book it for a time that works better for me, yeah, this is pretty good. So that is the entire review. Uh, they do have, I think probably about 10 colors of this. They do not seem to have a red, but they do say this is gonna match like 85% of hair color. Um, so it goes from sort of black through the browns to this being the second lightest color and then that light blonde. No crazy colors and also no red, which is too bad, but hey, if you have gray hair that you need to cover, I quite enjoy this. So that is my short and quick little review for today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. If you liked this little video, hey, give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. I think it gets my videos seen by more people because there's more people interacting with it. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you know of another kind of root touch-up spray like this that maybe is cheaper or better or whatever that might be. I know L'Oreal also makes a root touch-up that is actually a dye to go in, but because I do get my hair dyed at a salon, I don't want to start mixing home dye into there, and also I'm really crappy at dyeing my own hair. I've gone down that path before. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, why don't you subscribe to my channel? I will put a picture of my face right here that you can click on and then you'll be subscribed, and I'll put one of my old videos right here so you can spend some more time with me today watching that. Thank you so much for joining me for this today. I hope you like this little shout out to this product and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!